The San Antonio Spurs beat the Clippers 96-86 in Game 3 of their second round Western Conference playoff series on Saturday evening. The Clippers opened the game strong, leading by as many as 24 points in the second quarter. Then they went cold in the third, shooting only 20% from the field. And in one stretch, the Spurs outscored them 24 to nothing. Now, in order for the Clippers to advance, they must do something completely unprecedented. No team in NBA history has ever recovered from a three to nothing deficit. I mean, this is it. Our backs are against the wall. So, um, you know, if we don't play with that sense of urgency, you know, it, it's not going to be pretty. Um, you know, now is the time. I mean, really, from the beginning is the time, but, you know, we don't, we don't have any time to, to um, you know, let a, let a play go or let a loose ball go or anything like that. I mean, you know, we got to dig deep and, and um, find something and uh, make it work. After you guys jumped to a 24 point lead, do you think players started to think that it was in the bag? Um, it, it's, it looked that way, but. Um, you know, we, uh, we have to continue to fight, uh, continue to play, stick to our principles, play defense, and that'll lead uh, for some easy buckets for us. But uh, it just seems like we kind of got a little complacent with our, with our lead today. And um, they just kept grinding, kept cutting the, cutting the lead down, and you know, eventually took the lead in the third quarter. No, I think we, uh, we kept talking about it. And, uh, it wasn't that we had a big lead and relaxed. Um, momentum just changed, and we couldn't stop them. You know what I mean? And, Everybody know how explosive they are offensively, but we just couldn't get a stop. What do you attribute to that third quarter drought? Um, that's just not executing. You know, they play some great defense. Um, they play great D. And, uh, you know, I just think we weren't getting to our second and third option. And uh, that, that really hurt us. So, you know, we'll, we'll look at things like that and just uh, try to correct them. Um, we felt like we was playing good, but if you know anything about the Spurs, they weren't going to let up, you know, so. Uh, it's tough when you got such a lead like that, especially at home, to let it dwindle back. But went back to the pick and roll again, and we, ain't, we haven't found a solution. And we just got to find a way to, to not necessarily pace ourselves, but you know, make sure that we have a, enough left in the tank for the second half tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, also, you know, with them winning that many games, I mean, we, we know we can beat them. Um, but we have to come out and, and really execute defensively first, um, and then let our defense, you know, get us into our offense. Let us let our defense lead to transition points, you know, spot up threes, whatever it is. Um, defense has to be our, our main focus. Um, maybe we'll play better. We were def desperate in Game Seven in, in Memphis, you know, and you see how we came out and played. So hopefully we can be de desperate four straight games and, uh, and win the series. I'm Melissa Rowland, reporting for the Los Angeles Times.